I'll take it. Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode. I'm Star, as you may know. And today I am going to sample a few of the herbs that I've been growing in my garden. So I have been growing my own organic herbs to add to my herbal smoke blends. I was able to harvest some catnip. The reason why I'm isolating it and testing it on its own is because I want to be able to share a little bit about the effects that I experienced when smoking on its own. Because I have tried catnip with um, cannabis, but I haven't actually tried it just alone. And I want to try to do this with all the herbs that I have here. I have like lavender, peppermint, sweet mint, and catnip so this is the first of many as you can see it's a light green color um, I actually recorded a little bit of when I was breaking it down that I'll add here it's pretty light and fluffy it's definitely not as dense it's very light um, I did remove like the the stems and just only kept the leaves as that was recommended in all of the articles that I read. Um, hmm. The taste is really interesting. It's also not very harsh, like I'm hitting it and it's not hitting like my lungs. It's very smooth. I'm not coughing, I don't even feel like the need to cough. It tastes a little minty, oops. It tastes a little minty, but like a soft mint. I like it. I think that this would be a better replacement, oops. This would be a better replacement for cannabis than peppermint. I think peppermint would be a better replacement for menthol or cigarettes because the peppermint is really harsh. It hits you in your throat. Um, and uh, its taste is, it's very minty. Whereas this is like a soft mint, um, but it's very minty and the taste is very pronounced. And it doesn't give you like a calming sensation or a relaxing feel. Whereas can, uh, catnip does, it gives you like a, a chill feeling. And the taste is very smooth. It doesn't hit harsh at all. It's a very smooth hit. And the taste is a light, lighter mint. It's very soft. And it kind of gives you like an overall relaxation. So I think that I would recommend catnip if you're looking for like a cannabis replacement or kind of like a substitute for the time. So that is all for the video today. I will definitely make one, maybe just smoking just the cat, the peppermint alone and see how those differ side by side. But yeah, today that's all and I want to thank you all for watching. Once again, stay tuned. I will be posting more information on the healing benefits of catnip and why one may want to utilize it as a smokable herb or include it into your smoking routine. And I will do one smoking just the peppermint to kind of share more about how it may be a replacement for menthol and nicotine products in the aspect of taste, convenience, and you know, just having that moment to smoke. So yeah, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.